the type of students that live in Baker are uh, largely underclassmen, uh, mostly freshmen. In traditional halls, we you know there's two beds and two dressers. One of the easy things you can do is you can just stack the beds so they're all stackable. Some people have made have decided to design like an L with their beds. So like in one corner, it'll just be the beds, and then that still leaves like 75% of the room to be desk space or just space to be able to hang out in. Bringing up things to hang up on the wall is super helpful with making it feel like you're living at home. And then there's always the stereotypical Christmas lights that are always hanging up in traditional dorms and things like that really bring a, a different type of lighting than just like fluorescent lighting or the lighting that we provide in there for you. So that's, those are great ways to try to customize your space. Well, I think Baker is the perfect dorm because of its uh, loca location on campus. It's right next to Ames, the dining hall. It's not a far walk to 1828. It's the closest of the traditional halls to 1828. And it's right across the quad from the library. I would say that this is like a central building. Um, and if you're new to campus or maybe if you're going on a tour, like it's really easy to point it out and say, oh yeah, this is like where I'm gonna live. Or, oh, they told me to meet them here. So it like really stands out so you won't have like a difficult time locating your building. There are common spaces on every floor. So we have in lounges as well as like a main lounge in between connecting the east and the west side. We have the AOC, so it's like an interactive learning center. We have this space as well. You don't have any parents here, so you pretty much do what you want, and you'll start to enjoy that freedom, and then you'll feel great about being here. Definitely try to try a new experience when you're picking where you're going to live on campus. If you've always lived at home with your parents, I think uh, trying to live somewhere you know, on campus rather than being a commuter, or if you've always lived in like suite styles, try living in traditional dorms because they all offer a different type of experience and each experience brings in things that you never knew about yourself beforehand.